Dealing with setbacks in your life is probably one of the most frustrating and discouraging things that you can deal with. Of course, you know, it depends on the size of the setback, how bad it is, but it doesn't change the fact that it's still tough, it's still frustrating, and it's still irritating. Don't get me wrong, setbacks are really hard to deal with and they're frustrating, but they shouldn't be permanent. It's really sad to see someone deal with a setback that was supposed to be temporary, but they allowed it to be permanent. One analogy that I want to share with you that I've heard is in order for an arrow to be shot from a bow, you have to pull the arrow back and then you can finally let go. And so in order for us to achieve certain things in our life, there are some times where we're going to have to deal with a setback. We're going to have to deal with taking a step back before we can ever go forward. I know it's hard. I know it's frustrating, but setbacks are just a part of life. And the time that I've been alive, which is not very long, I've had to deal with my own personal setbacks and I've had to learn how to deal with them effectively. They've ranged from small to huge setbacks, mental, emotional, financial, physical, but I've managed to recover from every single one of them. Usually with a small to medium sized setback, you can force yourself to get back into the groove of things after you take a little bit of recovery time. But when it is a bigger setback, you have to take a lot more time to recover and to regain your strength. I've had to learn to be patient with the recovery process and understand that it takes time. There have been several times where I tried to rush the recovery process and I re-injured myself physically or I mentally overwhelmed myself because I tried to rush everything and I didn't allow myself to fully recover. So learn how to let yourself recover. Of course, that doesn't mean be lazy, sit on the couch and do nothing and just not get back up. Learn to recover effectively and to rest, and then you can get back up. There's a clear difference between complacency or laziness versus good and needed rest or recovery time. I do want to say that you're going to mentally get attacked the most when you try to get back up from your setback. Don't listen to all the negative thoughts. Don't let your life be defined by your setback, but rise to the challenge. Recover a little bit and then get back up. And that wraps up this video. If you got any value, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. See ya.